Okay, uh, first of all, I'm happy with our with our ninth win uh, of the season. Um, this game, we came out a little slow, which is uncharacteristic of us. Uh, at halftime, um, you know, we really challenged our guys, and they went out and they finished uh, like they should have. In the third quarter, we played very good football, and we put the team away defensively. Real proud of the three turnovers. We scored a touchdown on defense, which is always great. And then offensively, fairly balanced, uh, but 300 yards rushing. And um, that's what that's what we really need to do. And you know, you got to give those guys credit. Um, that's a very good coaching staff. They had a week off. Uh, they had their biggest win before that, and we knew that they were going to come out and get their best and uh, sandwich between two number one teams. Um, you know, that's uh, that, that that's a challenge. But I'm very happy uh, with our group. We're getting the victory, setting ourselves up for the SEC West to play for the SEC West next week. Questions? Gus, was the start a letdown from last week's game? Was that the emotional high and then dropping? Was that part uh, of it? You know, I mean, I think you saw it. I mean, you know, we didn't have that edge we had. Um, you know, we, we talked about it, and we really had a good week of practice. But, <clears throat> you know, we went down there and scored, and, and then I think they scored right there. And then uh, had some, uh, I don't know if we had a three and out, and they had a, a little bit of a drive. But, you know, you got to give them credit. We didn't come out like we have probably the last, what, five or six times uh, to start the game. And uh, But give them guys credit. And uh, But every game is valuable from a coach's standpoint uh, that you can learn from. And even though we didn't start out real fast, you know, we got to halftime and came out and, and took care of business. Does Cam Martin really spark the offense, in particular in the third quarter there? Just what did, you, what did you feel about his performance in the, in the second half? You know, I think you're exactly right. Um, you know, he was – K.J. was a little bit tired on one of those drives. I think we started backed up right there, and then we put him in there, and he was like uh, fresh and just like a shot out of a cannon. And, you know, he's done a solid job for us, uh, you know, all year uh, doing that. He protected the football and uh, really gave us a boost when he came in. Javaris and Nick combining for those three, those two guys. Yeah, you know, Javaris, it's great to have him back healthy. I mean, he made, uh, had a pick. It was a great play. And then, of course, he stripped the ball. That was a big play. And, of course, Nick Ruffin looked like an offensive player. I mean, that was really nice. He broke about four or five tackles. And, you know, that was a big play in the game, too. Did you feel like you guys, did you ever get a bad report injury-wise on any of the guys that left? The game? You know, I don't think so. I, I'm not, I've not really got any, uh, uh, any any news, and usually if it's bad, I get it before now, and uh, we'll see how that goes. But um, you know, I, I would say right now that we're in decent shape. Nick Ruffin, senior back in the play. Yeah, that was nice that Nick made a play right there. That was really nice. He broke on the ball, and we got a little bit of pressure uh, on the quarterback. He made a great break, and then went down our sideline, followed his blocks, broke about four tackles, I and mean, it was really really impressive. Gus, your name has come up some in all the Coach Carousel talk. Is that something you just ignore? Yeah, yeah, you, you ignore it because one week you're getting fired and the next week you're going to take another job. And I'm worried about the darn SEC West Championship. And so, yes, to answer your question. Two drives over 90 yards for the offense. What's that kind of say about that unit? You know, we've done that, I guess, the last two weeks. We've had uh, long drives, and it says a lot about the character of your offense and, you know, watching that group grow. And you got to be able to run the football to be able to do that. And uh, then you got to finish. And so, you know, that's, that's really something. And I think, you know, our guys got a lot of confidence right now. When they're backed up, you know, they got a confidence that we can take it. You can hear them in the huddle, hey, we're going to go 94. You know, and they just got that mentality because they've done it um, numerous times. Gus, now that you can look ahead to next week in the Iron Bowl, just what are your initial first thoughts of, of Alabama? <clears throat> I mean, they're undefeated. They're the number one team in the country. I mean, and that's really probably the, the best way, you know, I could answer that right now. I'd be able to answer that a little bit better probably after I get to Tuesday and watch a little bit more film. It's just the, the magnitude of this one. This is, you, you talked about before the year, yep. kind of getting yourself to this point. Right. Just that's what I told our group. You know, I'm proud of our, of our team. Four weeks ago, if somebody would have said we're in this position, I don't think there'd been a whole lot of people around the country that would have believed it. And our team has put herself in the position. Um, you know, we're playing the number one team in the country again on our home field again. Our crowd is uh, second to none. They're going to be ready. Our players are going to be ready. Our coaches are going to be ready. And this is just a, it's going to be a special game.
uh, this week with, with no classes, how, does it become almost like a camp mentality? Kind of, yeah, kind I mean, of? you got to be strategic, and, and we, we do have a plan that uh, that we'll try to get the most, you know, out of the week. Did you notice Deshaun Davis having a good game today? What's that? Deshaun Davis looked like he had a really good game. Yeah, I mean, he, he's all over the field. I mean, he's got great instincts, and, you know, he's one of our better players. On the deep ball, to, to Slayton, the first one, he had it, but he – faded it out a little bit. How tough a throw is that to, to give the space for the guy to get the ball? Yeah, you know, it, it, you know, one time the guy was really deep. Then one time he was close. And, you know, it's especially when they bail deep, deep, throwing the ball, it, it's a challenge, you know. But uh, that was a big one right there. I think probably the biggest drive was right before half, you know, when we were backed up. And uh, Chip went in 10 personnel and just threw the ball down the field and ended up scoring and, you know, gave it a little bit of distance. I think we are up by seven then. This will only be the second time the Iron Bowl decides the SEC West and that both teams could win it. You were here in 13. There was no game in between. You were coming off the the prayer turn here. What is what do you? How do you want your team to prepare after this game? What do you want them to do this first night into tomorrow yeah. to prepare for this game? Yeah, you know, I want them to enjoy this and, and relax their their bodies and mind, uh, you know, today, and then be ready to go. And, and I know they will. They've they've worked extremely hard to get to this point. That was their goal. To begin with, we made that clear from the get-go, and uh, so we'll, uh, we'll we'll be ready to go. Anybody else? Uh, Daniel, let me ask about him. Uh, you prefer a different kicking off today? Did you do anything different? You, you know, you know, last Saturday it was a little bit different. The wind was circulating. That usually doesn't in that stadium like that. And but he had his leg back and he was drilling it pretty good. All right, good. Okay.